What is going on YouTube? Zero Lead here, back again with a new video, episode 33 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. Just want to thank you very much for tuning in to today's video. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, helping me in supporting the channel. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, today we got some a couple of things to work on. We're going to be continuing our work on the detail of the piece right behind the bridge. I'm going to try to wrap this up within this episode. Might a little go might go into episode 34 just a little bit, but we're just about done here. Um, just need to do a little bit more work to. We're also going to get a little bit of work done to the underside of her saucer section uh, where the curve goes in very uh, towards the dead center of our saucer we're going to close that up uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into this so picking up where we left off we kind of had a pretty good shape going here but i'm still not convinced that we're there yet so i'm going to start the shave off a little bit on the sides here Try to get an idea of how we can fix this and get it finalized. All right, want to make sure whatever we delete on the left, we're going to do the same thing on the right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just trying to get an idea of how wide this thing is. I think that was kind of hurting it before is I was getting too wide like here and on the other side in the same spot so I'm trying to figure out how we can thin that out a little bit but overall kind of keep the same design that we got going on here all right let's fix that definitely one of the more difficult parts of the build. I mean, I could technically leave it like this, but I just, I don't think it's close enough just yet. It needs a little bit more love, but we're getting there. Not a super long video today, only about 34 minutes or so. All right, let's close in all that this side also. All right. All right, no, I don't like that. We're going to have to blend it in. trying to get an idea of what I want to do here. One of the things that's tripping me up is this curve right here. We're going to have to do something about that also going along here. It's just, it doesn't go with the picture. Let's get rid of these blocks on both sides.
So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Try to get rid of those half slabs. Missing one there. I'll just take it off on the left. And do the same thing on the right. Just trying to go with kind of the pattern that we got going on here at an angle. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. So I need to put another one here and then delete this one. Perfect. All right, we're looking pretty good. kind of think I'm going to bring this line in by one. So we're going to delete this row and then we're going to replace that with half slabs. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I'm going to have to see what it looks like if I add half slabs down here because that full block there is going to mess it up. All right, let's continue that. I'm going to put another half slab there and there and here and there. All right, looking pretty good. I think we're getting close, but this curve in the back is messing it up, and I quite can't put my finger on what I don't like about that right there, but we're going to step away from this for a second. We're going to close up this hole inside the bridge. Just going one half slap down. So this way there's a nice indentation in there. I guess we can get rid of that pole there in the middle. Don't really need that anymore. I'm going to just put that black block in the middle just so I know where the exact middle of this area is because eventually when we go in here to build our bridge, it's going to help. I mean, from the side that looks good, but when you get when you go up above, that's what kind of is setting me up or holding me up anyway.
could mess with making the backbone slightly broader. That might help. I don't know. Like I said, this is definitely one of the harder parts to do on the ship. I mean, we're getting there, but this is just kind of what it's taking, you know. Adding a thing here, deleting a thing there, and taking a look at it. Because we're close. Don't need to start over again or anything. But it's not quite there yet. This matter of figuring out what I want to change on it at this point. Luckily for you guys, I've already got that covered. We're going to be getting there, creeping along through the towards the end of the video. And then I think we've got just a little bit more to do on it in the next video, and then we'll be done. We'll be moving on to other, other things in episode 34, too, and then on other parts of the ship and so on. But we're definitely making some progress here. I mean, we've gotten a lot done. Um, Let's see. I need to add a half slab going along here. And do that on the other side because this full block is definitely messing it up. Just the shape of it. And then this line here, I'd have to bring that down maybe. Or make a cut here and have it go in. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a cut here because we don't want to just extend it because we had that nice gradual uh, decline. We want to keep that going. And if we just extended it, we would have lost it. So we're just going to bring this in. Again, by one. Okay, perfect. Let's hit with half slabs. Let's do the same thing on the right. Probably need to do another cut here. Yep. that all right let's knock out these half slabs let's get them out of the way and it's not too bad we've had to decrease the size of this i think two times so far but i mean that's going to happen when you're building these things from scratch and without a blueprint you're just you know building on the fly, looking at the picture. Sometimes it's just not going to come out right the first time. And as you see, it's just a matter of trimming it down and trying different things, different designs, until you come up with something that you're happy with. We're going to get rid of these full blocks and then bring the half slabs over one more. I think that was messing up this like huge border going around. It almost looked like um, a skeletal frame. I don't. I think that's part of what's tripping it up here, and it was ever so slightly too wide. All right, let's. Get these half slabs down all the way back. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side. For that one, perfect. Bring this all the way back. All right. Okay. 
looking good. <clears throat> I need a half slab right there in that corner. I regret adding this border line going down. But let's see what it looks like with it moved in. You can always delete it if it doesn't look good. We've got about 18 minutes left, so we've got some time to spare. Let's see what happens. Pointy edges. We're going to have to do the outside half slabs, cut the corners also. We'll get to that. It's, I think it's definitely starting to shape better now. We're, we're pretty close to what we need to be. We might need to get rid of these two extra border lines um, and just have like the skinny backbone. I don't know. But we're getting there. We're pretty close. Because you look at the picture, like that piece, like it's not it's pretty much in line with the width of the bridge so if your piece behind your bridge that we're building here if it's much wider than your bridge you need to trim it down a little bit and that's basically what i'm working on here just trying to trim down the sides here and get the curve right to where basically at every angle that you look at it looks as close to the picture as we could possibly get it All right, we're going to switch over to the second part. Still got about 17 minutes to go. Kind of working on is that curve behind the bridge. We're going to get rid of that. Try to cover that up. You can see we're just making our incline on the sides a little bit more prominent by adding another layer of half slabs going along with our cut. The reason I'm not deleting the access because I'm thinking about filling all that stuff in right here. I don't know if I'm going to. I just want to look at the angle of the cut to see what it's going to end up at. That looks pretty good from the side. So basically, we're going to be filling in a lot of this, but where there's these gray little cuts in here, the dips, we don't want to fill that in because that's showing that that's the piece that splits their bridge from this backbone that's so prominent in the picture. So we don't want to cover that. And 
let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's fix that. So we're just adding another layer of half slabs. Don't want to do full two, just one. to bring it up right there just because this is too full high and it's not going to look right so let's add another layer of half slabs in just to blend it out a little bit better Looks pretty good so far. Definitely like what we have here way more than what we had going on before. And we're going to be switching to the last part of the clip that I put together for this episode. And we're going to try to finish this thing off. But like I said, I think it goes a little bit into episode 34, but uh, we'll finish it on the first part of episode 34, and then we'll continue on with the rest of the ship. But we're, like, right there. I mean, we're going to be moving on to... Um, once we complete this part, um, from here, we've got a lot of stuff to do on the interior. So if you've been waiting for that part of the tutorial, man, we've got some stuff to cover for that. Because I'd say that this first portion of the, the first 35 episodes, for sure, of the tutorial series, definitely dedicated to the outside, um, with the exception of the two episodes that we did on the corridors. But other than that, um, it's just been strictly outside and there's don't get me wrong. There's still stuff left to do on the outside of the ship We still have detailing to do we have to fix a few things here and there um, And then we also have to do our detailing That's going to be a main thing knowing where to add in the details and just and that's just really coming down to just looking at pictures of the enterprise and seeing what details that you can pull off of it to add into your ship I want to hop back in what I got working on, what we're working on here. So I filled in the left side. Now we're just going to do the same thing on the right, just adding in another layer of half slabs. Don't want to add full two layers, just one. Trying to flatten this out just a little bit. Make it look as close to the picture as we can make it. Let's bang out the rest of this, and then we're going to zoom out and take a look. I'm literally just filling in the dip in the very center. You need to rewind back to see exactly where it started from. We're literally just filling in a lot of these. Now we're going to do the same thing on this level. We're going up one. Same thing on the left. One in the middle 
right here. It's going to look so much better when we do that. It's going to get rid of that grid look that we have going on, making these pieces look way more solid. Let's delete a piece right here. You want to maintain that middle backbone. That's important. So same thing for the left side. Go all the way up to the cut right there. We're going to finish it off with half slabs. Going one down all the way back. I want to look one up right there. Let's fix those. Then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Let's bang that out. All right. Let's zoom out and check that out. Because I think we're pretty close now. I actually really like that. Um, I don't know if we're done, but I think we're getting there. That definitely looks better. We're going to have to cut that corner right there, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. Even with the pattern, we can fix those holes right there. Let's fill that in with a darker gray. Do the same thing on the right. So, I mean, that doesn't look bad. Now, if you're not super familiar with the enterprise you're doing this, you may have a you may have a more difficult time spotting out the angles that you should be looking for. And if that happens to you, uh, I know I suggested in the beginning of this tutorial series, but look up, just go on Google and type in Disco Enterprise 3D model. If you can't find that, just see which version of the enterprise that you can find. Just type in TOS Enterprise or type in uh, Shatner Era Enterprise 3D model. Uh, and just spin it around and look at it from different angles, from the same angles, obviously, that you're looking at in your ship, and see if they kind of match up. That's kind of what we're trying to go for here. But I think we're going to take a little bit of a break from working on the back of uh, right behind our bridge on our upper part of our saucer and we're finally going to close off the lower part of our saucer right here in the dead center of it. I said uh, when we first closed this off I used the yellow just like we had done on the top but eventually we're going to come back and we're going to replace this with blue and a cyan to have it pop out a little bit more like I said, I don't use the white because that's just going to blend in with the ship a little bit too much. So you're going to want to use a color that sticks out and differentiates itself from the ship. Or at least the rest of the body of the ship, I should say. And I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with this color yellow. It doesn't look bad. I mean, I could have left this. I don't think anybody would have batted an eye at it. They would have, you know, probably, there would have been probably several people that liked it. But again, I just didn't think that uh, looking at it over time, the more I sat with it, I was just like, you know, I think it would just look better if I changed it to a shade of blue, just at least for the bridge. Because um, I really think that it needed it. All right, so we have our single layer of yellow concrete that we added all the way around. And you didn't need a, we didn't need a pixel circle generator for that. We just worked off of what we had. And now I'm just literally going along the edge, adding another row, and then one final row. And I'm 
going to make it a little bit thinner. So let's delete going all the way around the outside, just taking off a row. And we're going to replace that with half slabs. There we go. See, that looks pretty good. See, that's how you blend it in right there. This is why I say a million times I need colored half slabs in my life. I can't tell you what cool things I'd be able to build with just if I had every single color in a half slab. It would be ridiculous. If they wanted to get crazy, they could add in different shape slabs too, like triangle ones, circular shape ones. Oh my god, can you imagine? The stuff you build to build in Minecraft, they did that. And they could totally do it too. You can kind of, you know, keep it within the same mechanics of Minecraft. As long as it looks, you know, has that pixelated look to it, I think they can they can figure out a way to make it work. But regardless, I still like the challenge in Minecraft using the blocks. There's something about it. It's very gratifying, but definitely sometimes, you know, sitting there scratching your brain, trying to figure out the best way to go about that. And I think that's gonna finish off our tip there. I think we're looking good. Now let's cut those edges because we don't want it to look boxy. What we'll do is we'll put in uh, sea lanterns maybe. Or we'll just do yellow. Yellow looks good. And that's really all you need to do. And just like that, your saucer is officially closed off. And we have officially completed, essentially, the outside of our ship, minus doing um, a ton of detailing, because we still got some stuff to do. Still a lot of things to do. Still have to do the registration on it. We still have to, there's another curve that we're going to be adding to the upper part of the saucer. Got to adjust the pinstripe here on the engines. Then we have to add the registration on the engines here. And going to be looking at other pictures of the Enterprise to see what other details I can add into the hull just to bring it to life a little bit more. Now, we do have some more work to do on the outside of it. We're going to have to be working on the shuttle bay, which we'll be getting into later on in the tutorial series. Um, I checked uh, ahead in the videos. I don't think we're going to be going back to that for a little while, but we will go back to the shuttle bay and rework it, I promise. Because uh, that is something I definitely uh, wanted to redo. Because it didn't look bad, but I just I wasn't happy with it. Basically, what I'm looking at here is I'm getting ready to add in lights. I'm doing it in the corners. Of my circles. And you can pick a spot to do it. But make sure it, it lines up like I'm doing here. It doesn't have to be the exact same spot. But you're going to want to definitely have some sea lanterns going down here. I don't like using the candles if I can help it. Sea lanterns look a little bit better, but it's going to make your ship light up a little bit more. You may have to add like maybe another row going around it, but for right now, you can probably get away with leaving that the way it is. That looks pretty solid. And you think about it, we've already gotten a lot of detail in on the lower part of the saucer. On that part of it, there's really not that much left to do. Hard to believe we made this much progress on the ship. Still have a ton to do. <clears throat> But that looks great. 
See, that definitely has the curve that it should have. Blends in like it should. Only thing that we're missing here is, like I said, we need another curve here. And we're going to have to work on something to house our lighting for our registration. That's going to be fun. We're going to be working on that in the next video, I believe. That definitely has all the angles that you'd want. Now you guys can see what I mean by that. I couldn't edit this to the point of just getting us to this point. I would literally just layered it and layered it and edit it and edit it until we got to this point. So I tried to be as descriptive as I possibly could, letting you guys know what I was thinking, why I made the changes that I made. Um, hopefully it makes sense. But for whatever reason, if you get stuck on this portion of the shift, and you're not certain the dimensions, drop a comment below, and uh, I'll pull that from my ship, and I'll let you know. Um, I'm usually pretty responsive in the comment section. If I don't get to your comment, chances are I'll, I'll answer it in a video, or chances are I might have already answered it in a video. Um, also, if there's any other ship builds that you want to see me do, drop a comment below. You never know. Um, if I have enough people asking for it, or if I'm just really feeling that build idea, I might just go ahead and do it, because... I definitely have other ship uh, tutorials that I want to do on here, and there's a lot that we're going to be doing after the Enterprise, because uh, I'm definitely, I want to keep this going. I've actually been really enjoying uh, doing these videos, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying these videos. Um, also, don't forget to check back tomorrow for episode 34. In fact, you can always check out new episodes Monday through Saturdays. The only day that you're not going to uh, get new episodes is on Sundays. Well, anyway, I do think that's going to wrap it up for me, and I just want to thank you very much for tuning into today's video. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it, and I hope everybody has a great rest of their day.